Hi Libra and welcome to my channel. I'm Miss Rose and this is Miss Rose Tarot and I'm super happy to see you here guys for your reading for the first half of February 2023 Libra Sun Moon Rising and Venus placements. This is going to be for you guys. Okay, let's see. Let's get it started. Your current energies. Okay, we have strength and the ten of wands. And the Seven of Swords. Guys, don't forget these are free general tarot readings. Some of the messages may resonate, some of them may not. If you feel like you need any more information, make sure to check out your other placements readings, okay? And also I'm going to be drawing oracle cards at the end of this reading. Also some love oracle cards. So make sure to stay tuned until the end of this reading, okay? Now we have the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. Wow. Page of Cups. Jesus Christ. Lots of water. The Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Now that's very interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. Okay. So before we start, Libra, um, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment um, if you like this video. It would really help me out and I would be very happy to see you here as a subscriber and more often, okay? Now let's get it started, guys. <laughs> I do think... <laughs> yeah. I do think that there has been some form of betrayal here, unfortunately, for some of you guys. It doesn't have to be about a love connection for some of y'all. This could be about a friendship, family member, someone you thought was close to you. But for most of you, this could have been about a romantic connection here. Maybe this is not a specific thing that happened uh, recently. Maybe this, these are your past experiences, like... We have the Ten of Swords, this is like this backstabbing energy, Seven of Swords, also like very sneaky energy, Ten of One Strength, this Leo energy. What I'm seeing here is that you are dealing with heavy energies, okay? Um, maybe you have been separating from a specific person, or maybe you're dealing with old thought patterns here, but I feel like for most of you, this is an actual person that was in your life who was not very, very honest, and they weren't giving you the same amount of honesty and love that you were giving them, okay? Um, strength, Leo energy, you pull through that, okay? Definitely. Just a little more, your energies are going to be shifting a lot. We have so much water energy and I do see a divine couple here, okay? The King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Don't mind the, the genders, you know, tarot is just working with masculine and feminine energy. I do see you as the Queen of Cups, though, in this reading. You could have some significant water placements. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio doesn't have to be. I do feel... Oh, yeah, we have... Mm, nice. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups. I do feel that there's going to be a new person in your life. And as I said, if it's not romantic for you, take out the romantic context, right? Who's going to be very, very faithful, loyal? We have the Knight of Pentacles. This is a very loyal card, like best friends energy. And also we have the Knight of Cups, um, which brings good news. So you can expect good news coming in. For lots of you, this is going to be um, about a romantic situation, okay? Page of Cups, Four of Crystals, which is the one suit in this tarot deck, and the Nine of Cups, okay? So... All in all, you're going to work towards stability here with the Four of Wands, 11-11. It's one of my most favorite cards from the Minor Arcana. Really beautiful energy. Um, we, not, we don't only have this stable foundation. Um, we also have a sense of community, family, and celebrations here with the card, okay? Like really good times coming in for you. And I do see here with the Page of Cups that whoever this person is coming away, this King of Cups coming away, okay? Very mature energy. They're very, very sincere about what they want from you. Page of Cups here, okay? Very sincere, innocent-like energy. And they're going to be very mature as we have the King of Cups here. Look out for our Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio placements, okay? Lots of water energy. Um, this person is going to be very helpful with giving advice as well. It's a perfect match kind of, okay? So, um, with the King and Queen of Cups energy here, you're gonna, you know, um, balance each other out, perfect little match each other, okay? 
And this person is very mature. Okay, we, we have the king energy, as I said before, but also they have something very childlike to them. Not in an like annoying way, but like um, in a very refreshing way, okay? And this person is very trustworthy. I think this is a very important, important word here. Trustworthiness, okay? With the Page of Cups, we have the Knight of Pentacles, guys. This person wants to work towards stability with you. Um, and with the Nine of Cups, this is a very beautiful card. I can definitely see wish fulfillment here, okay? And also seeing how far you've come, looking back at your journey, be proud of yourself. So all in all, what I see here for you, Libra, is that you'll be going through a phase here where you still deal with um, betrayal and deception here from the past, weighing you down. But you'll pull through, you have the strength card at your side. Um, and energies will be shifting very soon there. I think for lots of you, there's a new person coming into your life or somebody from the past could be reaching out to you, okay, Knight of Cups. Definitely some good news coming in, all in all, like overall energy, good news coming in, um, blessings coming in, Four of Wands, stability coming in, more stable energies, a sense of community, family, celebrations, okay, and Knight of Cups, definitely wish fulfillment, also like, um, not only about spoiling yourself, but also being proud about yourselves, okay? And also this King of Cups energy here is definitely beautiful. It's going to be a person in your life who is very wise. Um, they can deal with emotional stuff, you know. They know how to handle their emotions. Um, they could be very interested in art, spirituality, okay? Very interesting person coming in here. And as I said, for some of you, this could be a brand new lover or somebody reaching out to you from the past, right? I'm going to check out some Oracle cards to find out more for Libras, for my Libras. The new moon will bring a new cycle into your life. Blessings are coming in for you. I can definitely see that, okay? We have, listen to your heart, it will tell you what you need to know. Creativity is flowing and there will be new and interesting projects. With all of this water energy, definitely. Fire energy here, oh nice, Leo, Sag, Aries, and a clear decision is required, okay? So these are your first oracle cards. Let me check out some monology oracle cards for you. A new start is coming. Yeah, I do feel like for lots of you guys, this is a brand new beginning and a new, very important person coming into your life, guys, okay? Very beautiful energies. Let me check out the Romans Angels. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Then we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon and trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So for some of you, this refers maybe to the situation in the first row with the deceptive energy and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so for some of you could be going through a breakup um, or you were dealing with that in the past couple of weeks. Let me see. X. Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment, and we have the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life. And the palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Yes, so what I do think here, Libra, for lots of you, a relationship has ended here, okay? Very deceptive, sneaky, sneaky energy here with the Ten of Swords, backstabbing energy. This person wasn't as loyal. And for some of you, you're asking yourself, is there a loyal partner for me out there, okay? Um, is there somebody new coming in? And I can definitely see yes, there's somebody new coming in. Um, King of Cups, the Knight of Cups. And this person is trustworthy. I think this is the main or like the key word for you. Libra. Let me get a message here from the angel and says, oh, this fell on the floor. And this message says, be assertive. Okay. All right. Very beautiful energies coming in. I can definitely see uh, lots of emotions, lots of love, lots of creativeness, stability, growth, 
um, wish fulfillment coming in for you, okay? New start is coming. All right, Libra, thanks so, so much for watching. If you want to support me, please leave a thumbs up. You can leave a comment as well. And of course, I would be very, very happy if you became a subscriber. And I do see you next time, guys. Bye, take care.